This is Sheila Labar, but let's call her Karen, a gold digger turned grave digger who lures men to their deaths. Sheila Labar was born as Sheila K. Bailey on July 4, 1958 in Fort Payne, Alabama. She, her sister and her mother suffered sexual, physical and verbal abuse at the hands of her alcoholic father. Her father even brought other men to assault her. She graduated from Fort Payne High School in 1976 and later married Ronnie Jennings. In the early 1980s, she attempted suicide and found herself in a psychiatric facility. The darkness within her was brewing. Came 1987, Sheila packed her bags and left Alabama for Epping, New Hampshire. Why? Because of a personal ad placed by Wilfred Bill Labar, a chiropractor, they never legally married, but she took Bill's last name and lived with him until his death in 2000. After Bill's death, Sheila inherited his farm and claimed to be his common-law wife. Karen started luring young men to her ranch. Seduction was her weapon, and death was her dance partner. Even delivery companies refused to venture near her property. Labar lured younger men to her farm in Epping, where she would torture and control them. One of her victims was Kenneth County, whom she met via a personal ad. He moved in with her but tragically became entangled in her web of violence. Another victim was Michael Deloge, whom she also killed. During her trial, Labar claimed she was an angel sent by God to punish pedophiles. She accused both men of being pedophiles. She was convicted of killing two men, Kenneth County and Michael Deloge, in Epping, New Hampshire. Labar received two consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole for her crimes. Two life in prison without the possibility of parole sentences at the New Hampshire State Prison, and you are remained in the custody of the sheriff. So what do you guys think about this Karen's act? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.